Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be an analysis video on the trailer for Crash Team Rumble. I released a reaction video. I was at work so I was unfortunately able to uh, go over the trailer frame by frame to check stuff out. I just wanted to get my first initial reactions out there but now that I've had time to break it apart and check it all over. I'm going to do an analysis video and show you all the things that I noticed in the game. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be the first one to notice these things, but I'm just going to give my opinions on what I see, and we're just going to go from there. If this is your first time coming to the channel. I release Crash Bandicoot content every weekend. I talk lore, I do theories, we do news, and like right now we're doing a an analysis video on the trailer for Crash Team Rumble. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, maybe consider subscribing. With that all said, let's jump into it. This is going to be a three-part video. Part one is going to be the characters, part two is going to be the abilities, and part three is going to be the arena. So part one, here we go. Characters, we have Brio, Crash, Femtropy, and the alternate Tana. And on the very bottom there it says mix of gameplay and cinematics. So everything in this video, it's I'm not sure what is going to be cinematic and what is going to be gameplay because they look awfully similar. And then we have Dingo Dial, Cortex, Coco, and Catbat. I'm not sure if Catbat is his official name or if that's just what we found from data mining. But it's Cat Bat or Bat Cat. I've seen people use both. So that's the whole roster. We have eight characters as of now. I say whole roster. The whole roster we know of. Also, I've seen people say, oh, why is Coco evil now? Why is Femtropy working with alternate Tana? I don't think that this is game, like, this is just like a free-for-all. I don't think there's any lore implications. I don't think the story of the actual, like, gameplay is going to be affected. Like, I'm sure there's going to be a story mode, but I don't think that when you do your 4 vs 4, I don't think that's going to be canon to the story. And now let's move on to the abilities that I noticed. So ironically, it being a Crash game, you think we get a lot of abilities of Crash shown in this trailer, but other than his classic spin and jump, uh, we didn't really see much. We didn't see any special abilities of Crash. And I actually edited this this uh, crate there on the right because I don't want to spoil the, the arena shots coming up. And similar to Crash, I didn't see many abilities for Coco. We have a what looks like a Crash Dash type move. You can see like the after image of her feet and a red trail behind her or pink. Um, what I've noticed is the special abilities all have like a pink or purple hue to them. So... That's something to keep in mind. Now, moving on to Tana. I'm just going to call her Tana from here on out. She seems to be charging up a pink shot, and she launches it, and it becomes bouncy metal crates. So her ability is to summon crates. Which brings us to Dingo Dial. His ability, he also has some sort of spin attack here, and it's green. This is the only ability that's green that I've seen in the trailer. I don't think I missed any other ones, but if you guys noticed another green ability, let me know. But Dingo Dial has this crazy spin attack, and you can see he's launching uh, Femtropy up here, and Crash is sliding away. And then Dingo Dial also has from Crash 4, his vacuum. So this could be just cutscene stuff. I'm not sure if it's actual gameplay because there's no colors, like there's no green, there's no red, there's no purple. And it looks like that would be a pretty broken ability to just be able to suck up all the Wumpas from like a far distance if the whole goal of the game is to collect Wumpa fruit. But yeah, so those are the two abilities that I saw for Dingo Dial, his spin attack and then this vacuum attack. And now we're going to move on to Cortex's abilities. Cortex always has his laser gun, and there seems to be two different attack abilities that Cortex has with his gun. 
The first one's like blatantly obvious, and I'm sure everyone noticed it. He shirt sh- he shirts he shoots a purple blast, and it transforms Crash into a pig. So that's the first ability that Cortex has, and like I said, there's always pink or purple around the abilities. You can see the the purple residue around Pig Crash. And then his second ability is he launches pianos out of his gun. So he's shooting a piano here. And you can see in this shot, it gets larger. And there it is, full-size piano flying towards Crash. But I believe this is the cutscene of it because later, actually earlier in the trailer, for like a split second, you can actually see a red pink piano with a bullseye, so I think that's Cortex aiming the piano and shooting it at Coco. So, again, all the uh, special abilities seem to have, like, pink or purple incorporated into them, except for Dingo Dial's green spin attack there. And that's all of Cortex's abilities that were present in the trailer, anyway. Gonna move on to Brio now. So Brio has his uh, two, two beakers there. He's got a pink one and a green one. And it seems like when you use the ability, his ability, the beakers get emptier. Like, there's only a limited amount of uses. Excuse the blurriness of this, but it appears that his uh, beaker is empty now, since he most likely used the ability multiple times. Or maybe it's only a one-time use. And the ability is Monster Brio. And it seems that when he attacks a character, they drop their Wumpa, which is probably beneficial to help your team make the other team lose Wumpa. (laughs) And then there's speculation on my part. I think you might be able to refill your beakers at certain stations in the level. If you look in the background of this shot where Cortex was turning Crash into a pig, there's a little uh, bar there with a uh, red drink on it, possibly a beaker, and you can see there's actually a relic floating above it. Femtropy slams into the ground, and these purple-pink orbs shoot off of uh, where she hit, so I think the the initial blast is where she hits, and then there's a scatter effect, so these balls go outward and they could hit someone else. You can see from the Dingo Dial shot earlier, there's the explosion from uh, her initial attack, the red there, or pink, and one of the balls has scattered outward towards that direction. And now moving on to the last character's abilities. Catbat, you can see him up there charging his attack, and on the ground there seems to be a red circle, which signifies where his attack is going to hit. He comes down, he does his explosion, again pink and red, and then after the attack, his uh, the circle's gone. And now we're going to go over summoning Uka Uka. So I think this acts like a smash ball or something, so whoever gets it, gets it. I don't think Coco turned evil. She got Uka Uka. He's charging up. Again, it's a pink and purple color. He summons clouds, and then meteors fall. And you can see Coco's actually wearing the Uka Uka mask temporarily there on the side there. And it also might act as a multiplier because she's grabbing all of the Wumpa at once and they're all stacking, so perhaps it is a multiplier of sorts. And that covers all the abilities. Now I'm going to show some things I noticed in the arena. So in the arena, they uh, they show both of the teams, the blue and the red there. And again, like I said, there seems to be relics. I think these relics might be what charge you up, allowing you to do, perform your abilities. And this is the image I edited earlier. It looks like there's a three times multiplier. So whoever hits that crate, I guess you can multiply your Wumpa. And in the shot where Crash was turned into the pig, if you look way in the background, you could actually see a piranha plant on one of the the uh, red team's podiums. So I guess you could summon piranha plants, possibly. And then lastly, it looks like if you jump on a platform, it changes its color, so Pana being on the blue team is jumping on the red platforms, turning them blue. I don't know if it was a coincidence, because it looks like it might be injuring him, but when the platforms turn blue, Crash gets electricity around him. Then that leads into the ending where all the platforms have electricity and Crash slam dunks it. So everyone, that was my video analysis on the trailer for Crash Team Rumble. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.